Hello everybody out there on YouTube, it's me Wade Duel coming back to you once again. I know it's been a little while, I'll just explain quickly and get into my topic. I've been very, very busy, you know, playing other games, I've been doing a lot of, you know, job search, you know, kind of things, you know, trying to find a job, going to different agencies and whatnot, trying to set up appointments, because it's next to impossible to find a job in this city. Also, I've been doing a lot of watching of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, me and my, you know, my partner, yes, look. I don't know if you've seen this in the video, but my fiancé gave me this. We basically don't have the finances to get married, so pretty much we're married in heart and spirit, but we just don't got the money to do it. So we consider ourselves married, but basically me and her have, been, me and Claire, that's her name, we've been watching, we finished marathon in Dragon Ball, and now we're getting into Dragon Ball Z. Uh, and I'm having a blast, so that's why I've been busy and haven't been making many videos. Today's topic, I'm going to be talking about a video, and I'm going to provide a link in the description for this video. Uh, it was by Super Metal Dave 64 uh, He made a video talking about uh, the Nintendo NX uh, video chat patent, and he seems to think that this is going to be some kind of a camera that gets attached onto the system and has all this facial recognition software and it can read your face and you'll sign in through this camera will view your face and that's how you'll sign into your account and he's apparently very excited for this feature and you know all these features using a damn camera and uh, my thoughts on this, I'm not going to go in too long about it, but basically I think this is a terrible idea. This sounds just like the NSA uh, Connect 2.0 camera that uh, Microsoft had for their Xbox One out of the gate, and we saw how that went. Uh, it sounds like another gimmick. Uh, I don't want no more fucking gimmicks, Nintendo. We don't want gimmicks. We just want a powerful console with a regular controller, I don't want to move my hands around like this to play the game. You know, I'll just use my my partner's little uh, freaking. You know, I don't want to wave around. You know, you know, I don't want to go like this. You know, to play my game, right? I don't want to do that. Right? I don't want to sit there and stare at a advanced facial recognition camera and who knows what other capabilities this has. You know, to do stuff with my games or to interact with my system. Is this going to be like the Kinect, where it's forced, where you're forced to use it? Is this camera going to, you know, restrict any kind of game content if you don't have it plugged in? Or anything like that? Can I not just automatically sign in, you know, like I do with my Wii U? Or the Xbox One, now that they changed all the stupid shit? Or a PlayStation? Do I have to really use this camera? Now, it's not entirely confirmed that it's a camera, but the way that he brought this information forward it seems like this is coming to the NX and it definitely sounds like a camera and I have a question for Nintendo are you fucking stupid are you that fucking dense did you not learn from Microsoft's mistakes it's like Nintendo is a generation behind in terms of features and hardware strength and it seems to be with this news that they're gonna be set to repeat I certainly hope not. I hope I'm 100% wrong. And if I'm 100% wrong, I will be 100% happy. Because I don't like to bring bad news. Unfortunately, the gaming industry, it's a lot of bad news. There's very little good news today. And that's very sad. But I'm, I'm worried as fuck. It's like, not only am I scared about how am I going to control the, the, the NX, how it's even going to play, you know, and, you know, hardware strength questions and so on and so on now I gotta worry about some fucking facial recognition camera it's like we don't have enough of that shit everywhere like you know the smart TVs that Samsung has where they say they actually give you a, a disclaimer this is watching you you know uh, we can't be held liable if the system is watching you and you know it's always connected always online and all that bullshit that's one of the reasons I won't get a smart TV because I don't need to have some fucking connect like camera watching me at least with this webcam I can unplug it and it can't watch me but you know I don't I don't trust this shit not not for one second and this just seems to be like they're making uh, another mistake another big mistake repeating the mistakes of their competitors have done because well Nintendo's always a generation behind now, if you watch my other, you know, videos, you know I don't hate Nintendo. I like Nintendo. I give them tough love because I want to see them survive. And well, let's get the facts out of the way. 
as other people have said, Nintendo has lost 8 to 10 million users ever since the NES. The Wii doesn't count. It was an anomaly that's never going to happen again. They focused on a group of people that were never in the market to buy a console that weren't even gamers, and they weren't going to hook them twice with that. They didn't even care. They've moved on to their smartphones and their tablets and, you know, Angry Birds and Flappy Bird and, you know, other stupid, lame-ass shit like that. That's what they go for. They're not coming back to Nintendo. So hopefully Nintendo, you know, won't do that stuff again. But it's like the Wii, you know, it seemed cool, kind of, you know, the commercials are very, you know, they, they lied. They, they totally lied out their ass. People don't jump behind the couch. And I don't want to do funky shit like this. I just want a normal freaking console. That's all that I want. I want a powerful, normal ass system that controls normally. If they want to bring out some funky ass peripheral, go ahead. But don't force it on me. That's all I want. That's not to say Nintendo can't make their same style of games or their fun games. Why does the power of a system or the way it controls determines on the quality of the games? It doesn't. But basically that's what I just wanted to talk about. I'm going to provide a link to that video and you can, you know, listen to the information and judge for yourself. But this has me very, very concerned. I'm just looking at something, by the way, so I'm not looking at the camera. It's just, and also something that I wanted to talk about. If this is really a camera that's going to be coming with the system with this advanced facial recognition software, what this is going to do is drive up the price of the system. A Nintendo, who always wants to make a profit because they're greedy as hell, uh, that what this is going to do is make them even cheap out more on the components and the hardware of the system. I mean, it's not going to be that strong. And what the Nintendo NX needs to do to really succeed, they need to be more powerful than the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It needs to be in my opinion, significantly more powerful. It needs to be able to at least somewhat compete with whatever uh, the the true ninth gen is going to be with uh, PlayStation 5 and whatever the Microsoft decides to call their next Xbox. Because what's going to happen is if the NX comes out and it's just, just on par with the current generation, right? Once the PS5 and the next Xbox One, well, it's going to get its ass blown completely out of the water, and they're going to have to make another system and cut this the life cycle of the NX short just to try and compete. And I don't want to see that. And Nintendo can't survive that anymore. And, and here's more facts for you. Nintendo has been relegated to the tiniest section, the tiniest section of, a, of the game stores. Every game store I've gone, Nintendo has the smallest section. Especially in EB games here, it's like you got this big PlayStation session, big Xbox session, tiny ass little Nintendo section, just shoved into the corner of the store like a bad child, you know, where you put them up against the corner, you know, to punish them. That's what it's like. And the, you know the Funko Pop little uh, toys here. I'm gonna show you. I got uh, uh, some of these for Christmas. Family got these for me, right? See these? These have a bigger section in EV games than Nintendo. At least twice the size of Nintendo's. Twice. And this is just game related and franchise related, you know, figures. These have a bigger space in EV games slash GameStop. That should be concerning to people. That should be very concerning to any fan of Nintendo. I'm a fan of Nintendo, not a not a fanboy. I can criticize Nintendo because I'm a fan. Fanboys don't criticize. They just worship and praise every decision they make and lick their ass. Lick the company's ass. So to say. So, what do you guys think of this uh, idea with Nintendo here? What do you think of a facial, advanced facial recognition software and some kind of a camera that allows you to sign into your system and only you can sign into your system because it has to read your face. You know, this kind of reminds me of the uh, putting your thumbprint you know, on your iPad or your, you know, iPhone, you know, and that, you know, thumbprint automatically gets uh, sent to the local police station. Yes, that is true. You can look that up. Uh, police, you know, take that and they record that. Um, another reason I don't like all these, you know, advanced features, because to me, I don't got any kids. 
I probably won't ever be able to afford to have kids, right? And I don't know if we even want kids. And we're two adults here, me and Claire. And she, uh, yes, she does have her own Xbox account, but she, and her own uh, Wii U or little avatar for the Wii U. But sometimes, a lot of times, she uses my account because I got you know games on it and whatnot. So it's like we don't care. We don't need this stuff. I just want a simple password system automatically sign in that's it and I'm just just in general very worried about the NX because I want it to be successful because if the NX doesn't get a hit home run right out of the park if it doesn't come out swinging with badass launch with a ton of games good games at launch and have a decent amount of power behind it it's going to fail and it's going to sink Nintendo because I'm telling you they cannot survive another Wii U kind of failure I've already given my thoughts on the Wii U. I like the Wii U. It's a good It's a decent system, but it also is underpowered and it has its problems and they cannot afford Another fail. Well, technically they can afford because they got billions of dollars in the bank but money can start bleeding pretty quickly and uh, The loss in consumer confidence and support they won't be able to survive because they have been losing 8 to 10 million people ever since the NES launched with their main 9 consoles and that's very 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 worrisome I want Nintendo to survive you know you know till I'm old I want if I decide to have kids so they, they can go back and play you know and be able to play Nintendo but anyways I'm getting on too long in this video tell me what you think of the facial recognition software patent and uh, Nintendo adding a Kinect style camera uh, onto their system and you know making them cheap out on components and whatnot because we all know if the NX you know if it isn't powerful enough it's it's not it's not going to be good it's got to be more powerful this is technically their ninth generation console this is their entry yes I know they got the Wii U life short you could say it's an eighth generation console it's not really it's it's their ninth gen entry it's their ninth system it's their ninth gen entry anyways uh everyone you have a great day uh, sorry it's been a while I'll try to make more content I've been busy uh, I'll try to make more of an effort to make more content for you guys everyone have a great day and happy gaming